Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love of Games. Today we're doing another food review. This one is going to be over Campbell's Chunky Ghost Pepper Chicken Noodle Soup. Soup that eats like a meal. So, just so you get an idea, it is red. And it's supposedly really hot. But, we're going to check this out. I'm only going to read the information for the... Uh, Full can, because again, two servings in a can. Who shares a can of soup? You're going to eat the whole can. So there's 280 calories. Uh, there is 7 grams of fat, 9% of your daily value. 2 grams of saturated fat, 10% of your daily value. Zero trans fats. Uh, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 17% of your daily value. It is uh, 1,700 milligrams of sodium, 74% of your daily value. Basically, this one can is all the salt you can have a day, just about. It is 37 grams of uh, total carbs, 13% of your daily value. 7 grams of dietary, or 3 grams of dietary fiber, 11% of your daily value. It is 5 grams of total sugars, less than 1 gram of added sugars, 2% of your daily value. It is 16 grams of protein, 25% of your daily value. 60 milligrams of calcium, 4% of your daily value. 2.3 milligrams of iron, 15% of your daily value. 1,140 milligrams of potassium, 25% of your daily value. Which if you have high blood pressure, it's always good to take in more potassium. Especially if you're on medication, so, which I am, which always get more potassium if you can. Especially when I eat a soup, a ghost pepper chicken noodle soup. But we're gonna check it out. It's 18.6 ounces, one pound, 2.6 ounces, 527 grams. Uh, says you cook for three minutes. Let's see, it says no added MSG. The ingredients are chicken stock, chicken meat, carrots, enriched egg noodles, wheat flour, eggs, egg whites, wheat protein, uh, niacin, ferrous sulfite, thiamine monostrate, monostrate, riboflavin, celery, red peppers, contains less than 2% of water, modified sugar, soy protein, dried onions, Chili pepper extract, flavoring, sodium phosphate, ghost chili pepper extract, cooked chicken skins, spice, and uh, has dried chicken, egg yolk, soy lechon. Contains egg, wheat, and soy. So basically it's a chicken noodle soup, what they made spicy. I don't know if you'd want that if you're feeling sick. Maybe you would. Maybe it'll... Uh, Open up your sinuses and whatnot. I mean, I like the can. We're going to try this out. I've not liked ghost pepper the few times I've had it. But just as you can see, it is mighty red for a chicken noodle. But, I mean, it looks spot on what you'd expect. Like, there's chicken, noodles, carrots, some celery. I didn't smell it. It smells like really spicy chicken noodle soup. Like super spicy. I cooked it for three and a half minutes, even though it says only cook it for three. <clears throat> oh, that is as spicy as hell. There's some tomato in there too. Oh, it's hard to talk while doing this. Instantly makes your mouth and nose and throat burn. Tastes good, though. And I like the carrots. The carrots are about perfect size for what you're eating here. Mm, looks like some onion in here, too. I mean, it tastes really good. I 
Now taste. I honestly, I would give this about a 9 out of 10. It tastes really good. I like chicken noodle, especially if I'm not feeling good. I could see eating this feeling sick. Now I will say, if you have any susceptibleness to spicy food, this is going to kick your ass. Majorly. It tastes good. Campbell's did a really good job with this. But if you can't handle spice... You're going to be crying. The noodle texture is perfect. Carrots are well cooked. Chicken's well cooked. The celery is really well cooked. So are the onions and tomatoes. You're going to try to down this whole thing. I will say it is spicy as hell. Way spicier for a can of soup than I would figure. I'm very curious what the Scoville units of this would be. It is making me sweat a little bit. I'm gonna drink some of the broth. That is definitely, definitely spicy. Grab a napkin. We are going to kill it. Yeah, it's opening up all of my sinuses. Man, it is hot. I mean, we've almost killed it already. Would I recommend this? Yes. If you like spicy food, I'd say 100% would recommend this. The broth. Hardest part to drink because your throat instantly is like, no, don't drink this. But we finished it. We killed it. Again, huge bowl, fully done. Felt like it dyed my lips orange. It was like a red orange <clears throat> combination. My unsweet tea, red diamond tea, is not helping at all with the heat, but yeah, it's really good. Heat wise, it's the hottest soup I've had ever. I'd probably estimate at least a million Scoville units. It's good. Tastes good. Got me sweating.
Dang, it's even got me tearing up a little bit. Uh, highly recommend. I'd say give it a shot, especially if you like spicy. The heat of it definitely opened up all my sinuses. And it is making it a little harder to talk. But definitely 9 out of 10, almost a 10 out of 10. Uh, perfect. Only thing I would act, want more of is a little bit more chicken. But I mean, it's chicken noodle. You get chicken bits in it. You get that with any chicken noodle soup. I I just love chicken. But the only thing I would recommend a change is more chicken. If you're feeling bad, this would definitely make you feel worse for a second. Or probably better in the long run. Uh, it tastes really good. Chicken noodle. It opens up your sinuses. Highly recommend. Give it a shot. Especially if you like soups and chicken noodle and spicy food. But yes, gets a love it seal of approval. I like it. Love it. Definitely going to buy more of it. But thanks for tuning in. If you've tried it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like chicken noodle, let me know too. Because a lot of people don't. I like chicken noodle. And I also like spicy food. But I don't usually eat spicy food. But... Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.